Welcome back. I wanted to implement a little bit of a, about the arrays because I kind of push those prototypes uh, a lot for the framework and I haven't showed anything with the arrays outside of the tests. So I wanted to go ahead and make a floor array. So we're going to turn the floor into an array and use that for the collision detection. So uh, we'll go ahead and say um, var floor is equal to new array and what I want to do is I want to first uh, we're going to go ahead and do floor.push and we're going to add in that original rectangle we had uh, which was the ground rectangle and we're first going to get go ahead and get this working before we add the rest of them so inside of this update we're going to do a uh, we're going to do our our checks real quick so what we want to check is uh, we're going to say if not player.jumping so if the player is not jumping, that's the only time. Uh, actually, we do want to check collision when he's jumping also. So we're going to have to rework this a little bit. Uh, so let's start off with the easy part. So for int i is equal to 0, i is less than floor.length i++. Plus plus. And now let's, uh, let's, let's add a boolean at the top of this bool. Uh, sorry, I think in other languages, var uh, collided is equal to false. And so we say if, let's bring out this floor and the player rect uh, in here. So if the floor i intersects with that player, uh, uh, we're going to go ahead and do the same stuff inside of here. So we may not even need this check in there because uh, if you recall our original one, we were checking if uh, we were actually doing the math wrong, so uh, it, he may jump off the ground and the collision's not detected, so that's a good thing. So we will say uh, we check this and actually we can break it after this and if we are colliding with something we want to say uh, jump available is true um, and the reason why we added this var collided is because we want to add it uh, we want to add something down here saying collided is equal to true um, Oh, I deleted the wrong one there. And the reason we need that is so we can do an if check. We can say if collided or if not collided then there is a, a uh, the available jump is false because we're not touching anything. Uh, so we can get rid of all this down here and let's figure out if uh, our small loop works. Uh, no, we broke something. That's that's no good. And I, of course, of course, leave it to me to forget about JavaScript when I, because I program in so many different languages. Uh, so, floor dot draw is not an available function. Now we need to. Uh, that's a, a good point. We need to draw all the floors. So, uh, for var i is equal to zero, i is less than floor dot length i plus plus, and then we want to say floor i dot draw context. Uh, so now let's bring it back over and refresh. Uh, something strange is happening. And that's no good. Give me a second. I'll be right. So we didn't set our color for our floor uh, up here. We want to actually let's iterate through all of them and make them all the same color. So for var i is equal to zero, i is less than floor dot length i plus plus and now we can say floor i dot color is equal to that so let's see if that worked, yeah there we go now our player is disappearing when he touches the floor, that is a new interesting uh, problem so the reason is because we're setting floor here we need to say floor i uh, 
Is there any more floors that I forgot to do? That seems to be the big thing. Doesn't look like it. So, there we go. He's collided. He's jumping just fine. Alright, so now we need a couple more floors. Let's add a few more floors. Let's copy uh, this, this line down. And instead of being x at 0, let's make it x at 100. Uh, and instead of y at 0, let's make it uh, y at 350. And the width only needs to be 20. So about the size of the player. So there's a block. Let's jump on it. Yeah, look at that. Now we're jumping on the block. But notice, however, when we jump from underneath, something crazy happens. And uh, he, he kind of gets a little accelerated there. But the crazy thing that's happening is we jump through it. And that is completely all right, because uh, we continue to add the velocity. And if you recall in Mario, most of the platforms you can jump right through the bottom. But if you didn't want that to be the case, you can obviously do more collision checking here. Um, and a thing, and when you check the collision, you want to turn off jumping and set the the uh, jump amount down and set them outside. But that's just way extra work outside of the scope of this. This is about adding things to the array. So let's continue to add things. Let's add 150, and let's add uh, 300, and let's add 20. Let's maybe duplicate a couple more times. Let's say 200. You're starting to see a theme here, and on the Y of 250, and the Y of 200 here. Now we're going to have like a little staircase thing going on here. Yeah, look at that. Now we can jump up the stairs. Let's add a couple more just to complete the look. Uh, this will be 150, and this will be 100, this will be 300, and this will be 350, and one more, 400, and 50. So now we have a stairway to heaven. Oops. There we go. Now we jump, 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 jump. Ah, oh, no good at this. There's that anomaly of jumping higher. Uh, of course, you can do some analysis to figure out why that is. But like I said, this video is mainly about the arrays. So there we go. We have a staircase working with collision. Uh, actually, that anomaly, by the way, uh, is whenever I'm I'm holding down Y when I when I jump, which makes me say, hey, I'm colliding with this object, turn jump false, and now you jump again. So basically when I'm hitting this object, I'm jumping again. So if I press and let go, you can see that I jumped the right amount. See? So uh, you can play around, tweak those settings, and uh, yeah, you can create some pretty awesome stuff. So that's it for this one. Until next time.